Oh, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Galliman20. Welcome back, and today we are back in Supermarket Simulator. Supermarket Simulator. I, I don't know if I, I butchered that or not, but we'll go with that. Uh, I'm on Nexus Mods. We're going to install some mods today that I think are pretty cool. We got Palace Display. We got Discounts and Sales. We got Checkout Counter. Uh, the Checkouts uh, count towards your... Um, your individual thing, what what's it called? You, you, know, you know, I'm trying to get my fourth cashier. It actually counts towards that. Uh, and then we have PS1 games replacing books. So that's what we're going to be downloading today. And after that, we will get into the game. Gotta make sure we know where all these go. Uh, this mod might prevent my mod to work as intended. Depending on the settings you change using RDC uh, Tweaker, it should work fine in most cases, but it could cause issues relating to restockers or customers uh, be changed. Okay, extract, put in ML loaders. Okay, cool. So that's an ML loaders. This counts right here. Nope. Clicked on File Archive instead of the manual download button. Okay, all these have been downloaded. And then we'll just bring this over here, go to our new downloads. So, pallets. And the litter. Mods. Drag and drop. Discounts. BP plugins. Checkouts is BP plugins, and this one is BP plugins. Cool. Now, this one says in the same folder. Okay, so I need to add, I need to download texture replacer. So I need to download this as well because that's a dependent on it. I need to download that before I add in the checkout one. Or the PS1 one. And then this. is going into BEP plugins. Cool. So this is like a tutorial on if you want to do all that. Uh, it is done downloading. Cool. So we're going to go to re 
refresh it. So I would assume Ellen Miller put the mod into that. So get to mod, supermarket, VP, plugins. And just like the other one, we just drag and drop. I want to verify that when I click on it, uh, cancel. I don't know. What's, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I clicked on. To be honest, that's why I canceled it because I had no idea. Let's just get rid of that real quick and just drag and drop it again. Okay, so now that we got that, we go to PS1 games. And we're going to go to object textures. Product icons. And probably product names. Yep. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So that's all of our PS1 games instead of books. Check out counter. Go back here. Hi, Jojo. So this is our checkout counter. Just drag and drop it in there. And I already did the discounts and sales, I do believe. No, I, I don't think I did. Discounts and sales, no. This one's also a drag and drop right into here. And we're done. That's it. That's all we got to do. And then I'm just going to control W. Get out of everything here. And now we're going to launch up the game. So uh, we're waiting for that to load. I'm going to move all my steering wheels and joysticks out of the way so that way I can play this game since it is keyboard and mouse. So you're going to hear some noise unless I just mute myself. I could probably just mute myself and do all this. Turtles for me being mean. What? Me being mean? Nah. Okay, welcome back to Milkman's Corner Market. As you guys know, we have outdoor cashiers. Okay, so the books. Look at that. That is now in replacement of books. Very cool. Very cool. And there also is a mod where you can um, get rid of Yakin, what's going on? If I said that correctly. Uh, there is a mod where you can replace all the 
uh, stuff like this would be Cheetos, Doritos, all that stuff. You would you could replace all that too with American uh, names as well. Um, and it also changes on the back shelf, which is cool. Okay, uh, so the update was cashiers do their thing. Pallets, that's what we're going to do. Pallets. Go to furniture, and now we have a good old pallet that we can have product on. Uh, full pallets and we're going to do at least four of them and there they are so we're going to showcase this as if it's like an outdoor section and I assume they can pull off of it anywhere because I don't see where that that little pedestrian marker is at Vital, this game is not free on Steam. Uh, not that I'm aware of. I know I purchased it. Um, so I would assume not, unless there's like a sale going on. I have no idea. But welcome back, sir. And uh, we'll do one on the sales floor. So we'll do three out here, and then one on the sales floor right here in the middle. And I would assume you just take products. I'm, I'm very new at this. We're just going to take cereal. Well, yeah. Product needs to be placed on a shelf. So I guess there's specific ones that are authorized for it. And if we go here, display. Would it be under crate? No. Category? How does this work? Do you like put a shelf on the skid? Oh, so Prologue is the free version of the game. That's where you are able to play it. Uh, in which country am I? I am in the USA. Uh, so yeah, Prologue is free. You can play it as long as you want. I don't think there's like an ending thing to the Prologue not, that I'm aware of. Um, and then after that, you uh, have your choice if you want to play the uh, full game or not. So I am confused. So I bought a skid. Let me, I might have to look it up. Stand by. Nexus that last seven days palace display. New display furniture available. Hold more products than basic furniture. Works exactly the same. Products that can be placed on it still works on their base furniture. Uh, auto ran patch works with resizable labels, customers and restockers work, products highlighting displayed, products highlighting disabled on the palace so it doesn't cause lag when you look at it. So requirements, I already got all that. Did I do it right? Uh, a total of 48 products are available to use on a pallet. Note that these products also work on their original displays. So definitely I don't see cereal being on there. Sandwich bread does. So I'm just going to push this off to the side. And that way I can type in these products. Uh, any and all toilet paper. Uh, I said... Uh, Let's just do the kegs. We already know the kegs are beer. Beer, right? Beer. I can't even spell beer right now. So it's the six packs, yeah. I don't know if that's actually going to go outside. It is. Cool. There you go. Dang, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder how much is a f on a full pallet. Oh, it says 25 per layer, max 125. Wow. 
That's quite a bit. I'll help this guy out. Since it has to have 125, it doesn't have to. We can do 72. But then we'll never run out of beer. <laughs> now, I'm not going to lie, this would be... Did I just throw that away? Hello? <laughs> I did just throw that away. Hey, I had just a max. Oh, I have one left. Oh, well. Um, those are already stocked up and ready to go. So now I know. Uh, all cleaners, all water bottles. Definitely we're doing water bottles because those, uh, those get pretty. Uh, pasta, too. Actually, I take that back. Pasta is a big hit. So pasta would definitely be on a rat, uh, on a skid. Let's let's uh let's center this up even with this. And then we'll bring in those pallets off the street. I like it. Very cool mod. Because in technicality, I mean, retail stores do have skids in the middle of the aisle. Usually it's down the middle, and that's like their um, their sale products. I don't. I'm still trying to figure out how you put items on sale. I'm gonna probably have to look at that as well. Uh, and if we go to Management, licenses, growth, okay, hiring. So we're at 1357. Just take note of 1357. That other mod should be working uh, once we get that up and running. And let's just go back to this. And we're going to do uh, the toilet paper. We'll do four of those. We're going to get some pallets on those as well. Oh my god, they're already filled up top. Technically that upstairs is pretty filled, so I can definitely see that. Let's add another four. I don't even know which ones I just did. Thank you. That's what I needed. The toilet paper, eight per layer, max 32, which is plenty. Better than having it on a, uh, on a rack. I'm not going to lie. I'd rather have it on a, on a pallet than have it on a rack. A lot easier to fill. It looks nicer that way. It's like it came from the, uh, the warehouse. And then let's take this beer one.
just like that. So we have paper towel or toilet paper products, and then this beer has just a trial run. There's a mod that allows you to do e-commerce in the uh, supermarket. Ooh, I think I did. I think I did overlook that one. That one. That one be a good one for sure. Let me do like six now. I know we're slowly but surely running out of stock in the back room, so I'm trying to fill that up, but also try to fill the pallet up too. Two more, two more. Yeah, I haven't played or I haven't looked at any mods since the 5th, and yes, I'm going to throw that away. I'm just not going to put it in the back stock. Um, but yeah, I haven't played since the 5th. And I was looking at all the mods. I'm like, yay, new mods. I'm waiting for them to expand. Somebody to come up with an expansion for the actual supermarket itself to where that goes further back. Um, just kind of like what they did here with the double-decker and how they expanded everything. I'm waiting for somebody to do something like that. I don't care about the double decker. I just care about expanding. Uh, so that's completely full, completely full. Yeah, we don't need any more of these boxes. Um, now what? Uh, I also have to open Wiimod. Let me go back to table. Okay, so this is the one I'm looking at now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let me go down here. Chris Products, Products. Uh, upon running the game once you, uh, with both this and this correctly installed, a config file will be generated. You can find this in the config discounts and sales. In this file, you can edit the key bind, percentage, discount, and profit limit. Simply follow the instructions in the file and you're good to go. That would have been good to know. So we're going to go here, go to... BEP, config, and it's going to be discounts. So apparently there's a key bind in here. Uh, T is the default key bind. So the key bind to set an item on sale, uh, case sensitive, and a single letter must be capital for a list of key codes. Go to here. So this is our sale. Minimum profit, a discounted item must have to be allowed to discount. Default $1. Um, for the price, this player set instead of the market price. Okay. So we it's case sensitive. So we're going to go to one of our racks. Do that. Let's do chips. I don't know what item it's on. There we go. So you click on the profit thing, you press T, click OK, and now it shows all these products are on sale. And then if we go in, the original price was $4, right? Yeah. And it even shows right there, toggle it with T. And then let's just go with the cereal, click on it, there you go. Now the cereal is on sale. I like it. It's very easy to implement that. Um, so now we can exit out of our discount thing. 
that, so we downloaded the discounts, the pallets, the cashier thing, and there's something else maybe that I downloaded. I mean, it shows a list of stuff that we downloaded, my mods. Download history. So I did texture replacer, checkout counter, discounts and sales, palette display. Okay, so everything else is good. This is all that we've downloaded today, and it's only like one, two, three, four, five. One of them wasn't really anything that we had to check in on. It was just replacing the textures. So we got it all. So now we are going to, you said, butt them back, back and forth? Or you want them down the aisle like this? Actually, that looks, that looks pretty good because it like gives that look of, hey, we have product here. You're just showing it off. I'm going to put all of these together. So that way those are all our paper products. And then if I do any more alcohol, then I will just add it to the back right here. But I'm actually going to add it right here. I'm trying to keep it on the line. I'm going to add two more pallets. I'm going to just keep one alcohol skid for now. I'm going to add... I, if I'm using my forklift eyes correctly, I think I can get three pallets in here with leaving a gap in between. I'm going to add some of the pasta because the pasta is one of our high uh, hitters. And that should be a good one to do. Uh, so we're going to go back to furniture. Go to pallet. We're going to need three of them. And we're going to have to rotate one of those pallets. I'm going to try to keep all the displays facing one direction. No, I got that wrong. I got it wrong. But oh well. We can do that. And uh, we're going to just grab one of these just so we can mark it. And yeah, we'll just do this one. So those are all upstairs on the second level. So we'll be able to fill that up in no time. I say that, but I think there's only like 12 to a box. Or no, not even 12. We're not even at, we're only at nine right now, so there's only eight in a box. Ooh, that's gonna be taking a while. But we're gonna open up our shop. Uh, I, like I said, we gotta get rid of this. Uh, we gotta open up Wii Mod, so that way we can keep our store consistently open. Wii Mod, there we go. Because we're trying to keep our store open. 24 hours. I like how those are on the line, but those are not on the line. Those are the first ones that I did. Um, I'm not going to discount anything else yet. I could discount the toilet paper in that, but those go super quick without even being on sale. There's no, not even a point to do that. I do wish I could have done the more cashiers uh, mod. That one would have been a good one too. So that way I could literally just line the streets with cashiers. <laughs> so 
It's like, hello, sir. I, I need I need to be checked out. But we'll let them do their thing. Uh, we mod is launching up right now, and once it's ready and active, then we'll open up the store. It's checking for updates. That's what we're currently doing right now. Just so you guys can see what I'm looking at instead of it being on my other screen. Okay. So we go to Supermarket Simulator. Click on the word play. And it says playing. Cool. Let's go and open up our store. Wait for the time to get to at least 9 o'clock. And then uh, we'll time stop it. Sir, I don't know why you're not assisting them. They need help. Oh, it even shows it on the front of the thing, too. 20% off sale. There's our first customer. F5, 9 o'clock on the dot. Minus that. And now it is shoot time. Go right for the cereal. I can help you guys out. That's a lot of product. You guys are gonna, basically that entire rack's gonna be gone. <laughs> oh, and it even adds a slip sheet underneath too. Very cool. That way it builds it like a tower, like we do in anywhere. They came up with everything on that mod. I thought they were just going to stack it unevenly. I'm like, bro, you need a slip sheet. Like the alcohol one, I was like, okay, that's weird. That one didn't get a slip sheet. Actually, this one doesn't get a slip sheet either. Is that the only one? Okay. I thought they would all get slip sheets. That's one thing I forgot to investigate is the trash can duplication. What just happened? What just happened? My game just froze. My game never freezes this bad. Uh, oh my God, the game just crashed. No. I hope it's saved to a certain certain point so I don't have to do it all again. First time crash, first time crash, but you guys know the drill. That's what happens with me. <laughs> you add mods, you break the game. It's loading. It's spinning. I don't know if you guys can see my mouse spinning, but it's spinning. No! Aww. Well, let's just open up the store. We got to start Wii Mod again. So, yes, we had to redo it, but we're going to open up the store 
stop the clock and just do it while our customers are in the store. That sounded wrong when I said that, but oh well. F5. And before I do anything, I'm just going to make sure people can check out. Because that's what happened. I heard them checking out, and I heard beep, 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 and then crash. I want to make sure it wasn't based on the texture thing that I added from, like, the books. Whenever there's a crash, you always got to figure out what the crash could entail. So that guy in the suit in the very back has the PS1 games slash books on him. And I'm seeing if that's going to cause a crash when he goes to check out. Nobody. Oh, we have one person. There he is. Okay, we're good. We're chilling. Well, we got our first customer checked out, so nothing's going on with that. Uh, we're going to go put our items on sale again. So we're going to go here. We're going to press T. These are now on sale. Now we're going to go back down here. Oh, also 1357 is what I said before, is that our cash... Uh, thing was at management hiring we're now at 1362 I'm going to close it out again wait a couple seconds go back to management 1363 so it is working to where I get credit now for my cashiers doing the work instead of me having to do that work myself uh, to get my fourth cashier now we're going to go back to the market get our pallets of furniture I don't know how to say your name, but welcome to the stream. How's it going? We're going to get, what did I say? We had three pallets of toilet paper, three pallets of the other one, and one pallet of alcohol. We're just going to do a total of six. Make it rain pallets. Actually, let's just keep the pallets out here. Um... Put it where we had it before, which is right here. Uh, yep. I want it this far down. Oh, we could do it right here, right against the wall. Let's just put it right there. Okay, so now we go with the pasta. We want that panini. Uh, then we need to do toilet paper. Toilet paper and that is going to be down here. We got three pallets there. Cool. Yep. 
No timber. Manuela! Hopefully I said that correctly. I don't think I did. Which one is this again? Close. Manuela. I, I feel like I did say that correctly. I don't know. But how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Cool. First try. Welcome to my very crazy supermarket. I know, I know. All the cashiers are outside. We have this new thing for pallets. So we put pallets outside uh, full of product. And then we have uh, some new textures for the books. We added PS1 games. That was one of the mods that was on here. Uh, and then we have a sale item, which is... Uh, the cereal. So right now everything is uh, working as it should be. We did have a crash in the very beginning. Uh, I set everything up with the pallets on the inside and then the game crashed and I was like, you know what, we're bringing it outside. Yeah, I was very skeptical on trying to textures. That's it, I just went with it. I was like, you know what? I don't want books anymore. I'm just going to use that. There is one out there that did um, all U.S. Uh, products, which was like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, all that. Um, that I, was, I wasn't going to try to do. I just wanted to try something first, and that was the PS1 games. Now that I know that it works, I just got rid of that. Again, it's the second time I've done that. But, yeah, I wanted to try some. I just did it again. I keep throwing away these. I keep clicking right around this area and just throw it in a garbage can. <laughs> I hate that. I know there's a mod to combat that, too, but I don't have it in. Because sometimes I do want to get rid of product. Yeah, look at this. Long lines. A lot of people. I also have Wii Mod running, so I, my store is open 24 hours. And I just added a mod to where uh, all my cashiers that check people out count towards my uh, another fourth person. So if I go under management, go under hiring, right now we're at 1445 and it keeps going to 1446 every customer that I do. So I don't have to do any more work anymore besides restocking shelves, making sure back stock is filled, that type of thing. Uh, so textures, here I'll show you here in a second. Very easy. At first I didn't know what to do. Uh, I had to read it. I installed it in the very beginning of this video, so you'll be able to see uh, how, how to do it if you really want to. But I will show you. So you go to your supermarket simulator uh, section, and then I'm going to open my downloads folder because that's where that is at. You need to download Texture Replacer. So you have to have Texture Replacer. And it's going to pop up like this. You're going to go to BEPINEX, go to configuration. No, not configuration. Plugins. That's configurations after the fact. Um, you go there and you're just going to drag and drop it into the plugins folder. Once you have that, then you can download, hence my PS1 games uh, texture. And this one's going to say PS1 games instead of books, but you're going to click on it. And it's going to have three different folders. You go to Texture Replacer, and you're literally just going to go one by one into these folders and drag and drop it. So Object Textures, Object Textures. 
and it's going to say books. You're just going to drag and drop it in like I did right here, and that's what it's going to look like. Now, I'm sure once you do this, you can just right-click on this texture and make your own textures after that because everybody has it set up for you. Uh, then the next one's icons. Those are the icons. And then product names. And these are all the product names. So it's cool. Very easy. Not bad at all. Coca-Cola and Pepsi are also a thing in Germany. Heck yeah. I am German. Never been to Germany. I want to go to Germany. I have my passport. That's on my list. Uh, what else we got? So we need a little bit more toilet paper. And I just ran around in circles. And if we have extras, we have extras. Because I just throw them in the, wet, in the garbage. So green is already stocked. Red is already stocked. I'm a billionaire, so the only thing I care about is stocking shelves. Yeah, no problem. Red just lost some. Purple is almost stocked. I almost threw that box away. And I had just the right amount. Okay. Next step. We need to do pasta. So pasta is going to be a difficult one. There we go. I make it easy on myself. I bring the rack to the location <laughs> instead of doing one by one. Just easier for me. That way I can clear this entire rack and then just bring it back to where it needs to be. You can see the lag is real, right? <laughs> lag is real. And it's just because we stay open 24 hours. There's so many customers that come through, and that's what causes the lag. Work smarter, not harder. This pallet can hold a lot, which is great because this is our best seller and also with the green one. There we go. Empty rack. I can place this anywhere, but I want to make sure it's in the zone so that way none of our restockers get hung up on it. So the next one is this. Oh, you press T, 
Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That means I don't have to walk. Nice. I can literally just stock and go, stock and go. It saves me even more time. I appreciate that. Hey, anything to save me time, let me know. <laughs> okay, so we're going to keep that there. Because when I click this button, we're going to restock the spaghetti. And we're going to do about 12 boxes. Absolutely. We work together. Work as a team. It was probably part of the instructions of the mod. I just never read that part. Take it all, sir. Full pallet. Five bucks. <laughs> Donut. Okay. Last one is the red one. I like the red one just because of the slip sheets. I don't know how it can be, how many can be added to that, but we're just gonna go with uh, pasta. Ten. Probably too little, but it works. I do. I do have restockers. There, they. I just have them control the inside of the store. And then I take care of all the random random stuff. Because I'm always adding something to the store. Or outside of the store. But yeah, I got four of them. They're all just right here. This guy's just doing something. I have no idea. Standing in a corner. He's trying to hide. Okay, so let's look at our main floor real quick. Just look at the flow of traffic. They all just stay in a row. They don't spread out. So I think I have my customers programmed pretty well. <laughs> yeah, here's the PS1 games with the textures. Um, see, we we completely get wiped out of the paper or the toilet paper, and so that's purple, red, and green. The other one is not even out there. So I'm gonna have to probably do that one too. Checkouts are full. What do you mean the checkouts are full? Are they? Oh my god, they are. Okay. Uh, how many more until I get my fourth cashier? Because I would really like him at the moment. Okay, we're at 1582. We need to get to 1750. So I think I'll, I think I'll help him out on the cashier side of things. Checkouts closed. Open checkout. There we go. 
Next. I also have the mod in right now where it's credit card only. Because you know me, I, I don't want to mess with cash at the moment. I mean, I could. There is a mod out there where you can do exact change too, where you just have to basically press enter. I swear to God, somebody is calling me. I am not trying to answer the phone just like yesterday. If you weren't here yesterday, uh, I got about 18 phone calls within, I mean, it was between 9 o'clock and 3, I think it was, whenever I streamed. Yeah, I'm not about to do that again. People are going to be put on hold today. No more phone calls. Some of these are not even important that I've been answering. It's like, oh, it's a two-minute conversation, and that's just two minutes of my life that I'd not get back. Did I say Grand Theft Auto on it? Sorry, lady. No more phone calls. <laughs> you were denied. Just kidding. Just kidding. Well, at least they left a voicemail this time. Thank you for getting one item. And it cost you 26 bucks. Wow. One item for 26 bucks. Shoo. <clears throat> Checkers are not full, lady. Keep seeing that in the distance. I'm like, nope, not full. I'm trying to get through all these real quick. So that way I can close down my register. Because last time I did that and I had a bunch of people in line, it like broke the game to where they all just froze and they wouldn't move at all. Hurry, hurry. No, sir, why do you have to get in line? No, you just brought three other people with you. I know I'm quick, but like, sheesh. Of course, you had to get all the refrigerated stuff that takes me a while to scan. Man, look at you. Everybody else had small orders and you just get all this. Just to waste my time. I'm just kidding. Not wasting time. But it's enough just to get more customers in line. Well, she definitely likes Grand Theft Auto. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. 
Ten dollars. No. One one item. No. Where do they keep coming from? <laughs> they keep spawning out of nowhere. It's like, oh, you're making progress. No, sir. -y. Check out clothes. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> I don't know where they're going, but go find another cashier. That should have helped us. Oh, we're so close to the 1750. Maybe I could have helped out a little bit more just to get him to that point. Okay, how are we looking? Toilet paper. Good. Pasta. Still good. They completely wiped out the cereal. I mean, it's to be expected. It is on sale. 100% expected. Uh, so we're going to need... Oh! I, th I think I have the clone mod in. I don't know if it's working, though. So, let me see. You get two to a shelf, and the cereal is... Is where? I have cereal here. Where's the other cereal? Did I not have another one for that? Weird. Very weird. I thought for sure I had another, like, full rack. Fair days. I thought for sure I had another rack full of uh, the purple cereal. I guess it's just these. Seventeen fifty. Yes. Higher. <laughs> Now we have four cashiers. Sorry, sir, I'll open up your register. He is going off. Did none of these go to back stock? Okay, so they did fill up. Nice. We're just going to need more assistance. Okay, it's back to regular price. Back to regular price. <laughs> we are a 24-hour store, <laughs> so we make changes... In the moment.
Did I have anything else on sale that you guys remember? No. Okay. So that is not it. Uh, let's do this because this is not much of a thing that people buy. So I think they'll they'll like the sale price. Gives me some time to restock these shelves. I mean, they're still buying it like crazy. How are we looking? How are we looking? Uh, one hour. One hour. If you're still watching, JoJo, it's one hour from now. I'm thinking about just totally wiping. So we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 16. So we have in total on a pallet 32. So that just doubled our space. So 32, 32, 32. We could definitely put some different product back here and just have everybody go out to the front of the store and purchase toilet paper because it feels like every time I put it on the back wall it's gone within seconds I feel like it's easier just to do pallets I mean even look at the chemicals chemicals are going <laughs> we're gonna need a, uh, a pallet for this this yeah we'll just do that too Uh, green ones we really don't need to, but so that is that. It is very windy outside. Okay, so, yeah, we can go down there. We've done this before, and we'll do it again. Except it now looks legit. Um, and I'm only talking about the pallets. Of course, it's not legit because we're having it outside. But it at least has the look of, hey, we have pallets outside, which is pallets are supposed to be outside. I have to start a new game with all these mods I installed. I know, it's addicting. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying not to go too far down the street. I mean, I could definitely add a pallet right here. But then that's also where my restockers stand. So, probably not. And I'm also skeptical on putting it on the grate. But it's also giving me the marker. So it might work.
I'm gonna click save just in case the game crashes after putting it on the grate. And why not? Let's just put one right here. I don't know what it's gonna be, but we're just gonna put a skid right here. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, so I wonder if there will be more levels or product added to the game if you reach max level or it's over. I don't know. I don't know. Stretching. Because uh, this game, you use a lot of your mouse. <laughs> mouse and keyboard. So it's 12 o'clock or 12.40, uh, probably within the next 10 minutes, I'm going to have to go check to see the rotation of the sun. I got, we, uh, we started a, a garden. We technically didn't start the garden yet, but we have to start certain vegetables indoors first before you plant them outside, which is a different experience than I'm used to. Usually you plant them outside and then they grow and do whatever. So I have it in a sunroom slash humidity room because that's what it needs. And I have to figure out the rotation of the sun because I just did it yesterday at night. Uh, so I didn't know which way the sun was facing. But I know the direction. <laughs> I know the direction that the sun starts and the sun sets, which is in the perfect room for it. It just needs to make sure... It gets sun 20, pretty much 12 hours a day, or six, six plus hours of sun. And I think I have it in the right spot, but I'm not too sure. Correct. It would be cool if you can make new stores. That's, that's what I want to do. Uh, I tried it with somebody's mod, and then it broke my mod because it was a completely new game. Uh, okay, now let's uh, let's go through because we're gonna need to get more of our back stock. In There is a mod that I was going to install, but it's not compatible with my over limit mod where you can order more than 10 products. So I couldn't use it, but that mod literally just restocks your entire shelves. You don't have to go through scanning each individual section and uh, doing it how I'm doing it. You can literally just go to this uh, website and click it, and it will restock all your shelves without having to do anything.
I might have to give it a shot then. Because, yeah, that, that looks like a time saver for me. Having to go through, do this. I don't know. Uh, I'll go through this one time. And then get everything restocked and ready to go. And then I'll go through and add that mod, uninstall the other one, and see how it plays out. Because, yeah, screw this. It's just a lot of clicking. Hello? I was about to say, can I move? Why does it only have three? Three pieces of bread for two boxes. <laughs> Something ain't adding up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if... 100%. If you needed to, or if you added that mod, you would definitely get rid of the scanner mod, for sure. Can I go back up these steps, please? Thank you. Now, I didn't check. Was there any, like updates to specific mods that you may have seen i don't know if it notifies you i know it didn't notify me but i didn't know if they added any more to this extension that i'm on the warehouse extension i just clicked it four times i didn't feel like going up and down it's the same product These you can't really tell unless it's in the back and you can see it. This one has four. Still don't know why they have multiples on there. So two levels that I have right now, that's what they still have. I didn't know if anything else was added extra where they widened it, extended it. I don't know. Birdies, birdies, birdies. Two, two, two. Okay, done. I don't worry about the freezer stuff. You guys know that. How many items? 628 items. And there we go. All stocked up.
You guys hear that noise in the background? That was the barn door. Oh, gotcha. So these I don't need. Dang. Okay, never mind. I was about to say, like, pasta, gone. But no, pasta's not gone. So we're going to go ahead and take this pallet, move this pallet over here, take this pallet, and move it with the pasta. So that way we can get our cleaning products. And that would be... Products, category, cleaning. There we go. And we take that out of there. So bleach is not even on the shelf. We got everything in back stock, though. I'm going to do about five of these. Uh, five tablets. Shampoo. And it's all falling from the sky. Somehow they all got over here, too. <laughs> uh, red, 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 or white. Red cap, white box, or container. Okay, this can't be placed. It has to be placed on the shelf, which is fine. I know some of the cleaning products could be put on here. I don't know. I didn't know what types of products. I just knew it was cleaning related. This has to be on the shelf too, which is fine. I'm just going to get rid of them. I don't know if this one's going to be able to. No. Definitely not. Back to it. Okay, anything? No. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's the other box at? Right behind the cashier. The cashier is trying to steal. He was trying to steal it from us. Okay, so we got those types of chemicals. We gotta look down the aisle again to see what other chemicals. And we probably don't even have any more down here. No, didn't think so. Can we put bottles down there? 
I don't think they're going to let us put bottles. What I could do is go to Nexus. And go to that one that was just there. Just so I can look at the picture and see what is a uh, part of it. Okay. So the pink ones and the white ones, which we didn't grab yet, because they were, oh, and then the green cascade looking things. Okay. Now I kind of have a visual of what we can put on there, what we can't put on there. Okay, cool, cool. Timber. Anything? Not hiding anything now? I might do like a couple more cases, not much. So like three. Almost pretty much full three. Should be good. Oh, and then this one too. Timber. Ah, oh, this one's going in the trash. Trash. Good. More time to bother me. Full. 
very very windy. I don't know if you guys can hear that wind, but it's very very windy. Trying to get that one up, but there's so many that people are buying, it's like, can't even keep it stocked. I mean, technically, you can hold a lot. Right now, it's holding 55 or 67 now. It's like, jeez. If the displays run out, then there's a problem. <laughs> and then pasta's running low. Spaghetti. Oh, yeah. I have to change the category to any. Uh, we'll do seven. Maybe should have done the 12. <laughs> Maybe should have done the 12. Just so I have more in back stock instead of out here. I think I got the right amount. Let's go. Two off. Two off. I'll take it. I will take it. Look at that nice looking display. We're gonna take a screenshot right there. Sir, you just blocked my 20% off sale. Everybody keeps walking in front of it. Stay, there we go. Getting a phone call.
Yakin, yeah, why don't I close the store? I just keep it open, and then I have... I mean, eventually, I do close the store. Uh, right now, all the shelves that you see right here, or the uh, skids, those are perfectly fine. But I just kind of wait till all my shelves go bare, or at least get close to being bare. And as you can see, like, all the back wall, completely bare, this, this, this. And then at night, the restockers, they they do their thing. So whatever is on the shelves, then they restock it. And I'm going to show you here in a second because I'm going to press F5, speed up the time. Or not, I wouldn't say speed up the time, but at least let the time go. I'm going to fill up the freezer items because usually freezer items, I just stock it once and then uh, I don't replenish it and then from there once it becomes closing time I'll show you guys what happens uh, and if you guys know about that mod you know that the restockers restock it overnight and I don't have to worry about anything for the morning shift but I just wait till it goes bare and Looks like it's pretty bare to where it's time to uh, initialize closing the store. That way we can get more product in and do it all over again. If you guys have any questions about the game or why I do things that I do, I mean, y'all can, I mean, it's a good question. So don't think that, oh, I, why, why am I asking this or stupid question? He might get offended. You're good. You're good.
I also have outdoor lighting, as you see right here, for all my uh, cashiers. Uh, this one, this guy, I got to move. I mean, there's multiple right here. So I'm going to move this one over to that cashier. Originally, I had product outside on shelves, and then I got rid of the shelves and moved it back inside. But now we got pallets, so we might do some more adjusting. Okay, so this is what happens usually when I have Wii Mod and the game at the same time going together. Um, if I keep the store open for 24 hours, it does this, where I click end of day and it restocks the shelves, but it does not actually end it to change it back to daytime. So it's an easy fix. All you do is click escape, click save. Make sure it saves, quit the main menu, not quit the desktop, quit the main menu. And then you're just going to go right back into it and click on continue, which then reloads it uh, to daytime. But you have to do one more extra step. And that is going over to the open and close sign. Click on it, does that, you click enter, and now it should bring up your store stats. So we had 1,143 customers, and it breaks it down. We made profit on that. Uh, start the next day, and now it's back to closed. Manuela, what's going on? What you need help with? And now these guys are going to stock up stuff that they weren't able to get to at night. And I'm going to go do this one for them, unless it's already stocked, and it is, so I don't have to do it. And this should be right in this section. Right there. Oh, interesting. I'll have to install it myself to see what 
what goes on with it because it should install. But I hate to cut the live stream short. I mean, I have been streaming for almost two hours, but I do have something going on at 1.30, so I got to get ready to do that. And then from there, uh, I won't be back until, I don't know, 5, 6. I got to run, actually go out to do something. Uh, so until then, hope you guys go re enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great one, and I will see you in the next video. I might stream later on. You never know. You never know. But I will definitely uh, come back to doing the USA Brands mod and see how that works. Because you can't, if you can't get it to work, I'll figure out a way to get it to work. <laughs>